Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about JSF components or JSF text part two. If you haven't seen in the in the very first video, we have covered some of the JSF tags here in this video. But as part of this video, we'll talk about rest of other UI components or JSF tags. Okay, so let me take you to the project. Okay. So here is the screen like my login page and here we have we'll talk about edge current input text area tag we'll talk about command link we'll talk about graphic image to insert an image to display an image on the ui we'll talk about edge current edge message edge colon message tag this message is basically used to display a message maybe like any sort of message validation error or any other message on the ui and then we have something called input hidden when for example if you want to communicate with two different screens and you want to pass something from one screen to another screen and you don't want to display that particular value then you can make use of edge current input hidden take that is provided by jsf and then okay command button is same it is just equal to submit button okay so let me what will do first okay i'll give you the demo first and then we'll talk about how it is working in the code okay so first talk about the okay we'll first see about the edge current command link so this command link just like command link is is like your anchor tag or a anchor or edge reference like you use that anchor tag right anchor tag in html that is equivalent to the edge current command so as, as soon as you click on this link it will take you to the next screen so if i click here it will take me to the next screen which is my home page okay if i click on back on my home page it will take me to the login page like on my uh, home page sorry if i click on click here it will take me to the take me to the next screen which is my welcome page and if i click on click on home pay home link it will take me to back to the my login page this is how it is so this is my command link okay then we have uh, what is next graphic image message input here okay so if i go here so here is my image so i have used the command called edge current graphic image to display the image here these are the labels by using edge current output label tag. This is my checkbox value, and here is my okay. Let me go back. So this this is uh, input text area. So input text area is like your HTML text area tag in which you can allow a user to enter multiple lines of text, some sort of information, comment, or something here. Okay. So basically, here I can type some text, some command, tick 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 like that. Okay and if i go back the next we have is edge current message we'll see in a couple of minutes and then we have input and also we'll see okay let me take you to the my code so basically here i have my project called demo ui part two two okay so we'll see one by one let's first talk about the click here uh command link edge current command link okay so let me make it big for you guys so if i come down so basically if you see here this is like simple as from the last video i have used edge current output text value edge current output text uh, tag to out simply print these text information on the on the ui and then let's talk about the command link so here it is so if you see here edge current command link is my opening tag here is my closing tag of, uh, closing tag of edge current command link here is our style i have mentioned the styles it has yellow color id action is like so so this is similar to the and here is my output text so inside output text i can pass the value that that particular value will be displayed here so i have mentioned if i see if you see here the value is click here that i can see here okay and now what is happening here is like on click of this particular command link what is happening it is navigating the user to the welcome.xhtml page okay simple Similarly, if I go to the one second, let me go to the welcome page. Let me make it big for you guys. Yeah, so here also I have one command link, this one. And what I'm doing here, the value is home. And in my login, I have the values click here. But on my welcome page, the value is home. And on clicking, click on this command link, it will take me to the login page, login.xhtml screen. Simple, nothing much complex here. Then we have edge current text area. You can see this one. Let's go and see 
h current text area here or oh, sorry here on my welcome page i have here h current input text area opening tag and closing tag okay id value so whatever value i pass here that will be stored in my like in welcome bean in, in my bean class i have a property called hobbies so whatever i will enter in this h in, in input text area will be stored in this particular property and here we'll talk about required required equals to false later and if you see here we'll talk about these two things later and columns and rows if you go here okay let me just test something if you see here so it says column 60 so if you see this width right so this is column 60 and rows 5 or 5 rows here 5 so this height is one row, two, three, four, five rows, and column wise. Six. So this is how you can mention about the number of columns and uh, rows here by using this calls and rows attribute. Simple. Now if I talk about required equal to false or required message, what is happening is if I click on back button, it will take me back to my uh, what do you call this? My home page. Okay now okay before that let me go let me take you to the login page let me see okay we'll cover first this edge current image graphic image if i go here edge current graphic image is like let me log in here there is no validation currently so i can put so here if you see this image so I have used edge current graphic image to display the image here. Let me go. To, so it's here, edge current graphic. You see here, edge current graphic image is my uh, tag that is used to display the image. And the value is, I have my this particular orange image, right? This particular image inside images folder here. If I let me show you. So here inside web content, I have something called images, and inside images, I have my this particular image seven eight eight five two seven. Let me show you. So this is my orange image, right? So this is quite simple, nothing much complex. Uh, the attribute name is, oh sorry, the tag name is edge current graphic image, and then value is where you need value is where you need to pass your what do you call that your path where you have your image. In case if you are using an image over the internet, then you need to pass uh, URL attribute instead of value which we are supposed to use for example you want to give path your you have your image some external image like http colon something something www.abc.com slash one dot jpg something like this if you have any external image so this is how you are supposed to use the path and you are supposed to use the url attribute to pass the image path and you can also mention the height and width of your image alt is your html tag so here let me go back so here the important thing is let's talk about the important thing we'll talk about edge current message attribute let me go to the edge current message attribute okay here so basically it's here edge current message i have here and okay here required And let me mention the message as well. Required and this is okay. Required message. I'll put user ID. This is required. Okay, so let me see. So what I did here is my input text box, user ID. Now required false and let me make it true required true means i user has to enter so i'm making this particular field as mandatory user has to enter this value if it is not there then it will display a message called user id is required and this is the path this is the location edge current message attribute so basically jsf framework is smart enough to find out this particular id it's here for and it will display this required message here in the white color so let me just rerun my project let me just recompile because i have just made some changes right 
so i'll just recompile and publish the changes i hope it should give me the so this attribute required is to make the user input as mandatory field okay let me just run this one run and save save So I'm waiting for the screen to come up so that I can explain the things in a better manner. So similarly, I can use the same thing here also because I have one more edge colon. So edge colon message tag, this particular message tag is basically used to display error message or any sort of message on the screen. So it's a very good tag provided by JSF. I'm not sure that this is, this is my new UI or okay. See here. So if you see here, enter user ID. What I did, I simply clicked on welcome page. It says user ID is required. So if you see here, uh, where is my login? Yes, user ID is required. This is the message. So I have used the tag required equals to true and message user ID is required in case if it is blank now if i go and enter something yet i'm just giving anything here and if i click on welcome there won't be any problem at all simple right and now if i click on welcome page it is there so jsf framework is smart enough to identify based on this particular tag right if you make it true let me use the same value for password as well uh, password input secret and here it is required and then so currently it is false and i'll just put this one and i'll change this value to sorry password is required and if you see here so this id should be uh, matched with this four attribute here because this particular message if the jsf framework will look for this particular id and then will print the message here with this edge current message attribute so here if you see user id the message is displaying here password password so message gonna be here okay so let me again i have to refresh right i have to rerun because i have just made some changes in my ui i'll just republish let me close okay so wait for the screen to come up and then i'll explain things how it is working actually now like this required attribute and getting and displaying this particular message on this edge current message tag is everything is done by your jsf framework so this is the good part of this framework itself you don't have to use anything else to display your warning message or validation error and all and if you want okay i'll show you one more thing let me just i'm just waiting for the screen to come up It's taking too long, but it's okay. Okay, so here is the screen. Now, what I'm going to do is if you see here in my code, now I have my username and password both I put as true, means I need these values from the user. If I click on welcome, I'll get the error message user ID is required and password is required. If I go back here, it says I want these values in white color. Say, for example, I don't want in white, I want this to be displayed in red color. Login and here also I'll mention as red color. I'm not sure what the this is the reflector. Okay, see here. User ID is required pass. So you can also apply your uh, style sheet, whatever you have. Now there is one more attribute called here. This one. Say for example, I don't want this checkbox as of now. Remember me, right? So what I will do is I'll use something called render equal to 
false so if you see the checkbox here let me just uh, how can i refresh click here see it's gone so this particular tag render what it does is basically your your component your element is there on the page but jsf framework won't display see here now i don't have that particular checkbox thing remember me and checkbox has been gone so what it does it is not just like it is not simply hiding the attribute what it, what the SFM is basically doing is it prepares a component tree on page load and if it see render equals to false so it will just remove the component these elements from the component tree okay so this is the good part of this framework it is not like it is not like uh, you have edge current output and the select checkbox in the component tree it is not at all there so just if you simply remove these values out of the component tree and simply so if i see the component tree so i have these one two three four five components on the ui nothing else is there it is not like that it is like hiding those elements the check boxes okay so this is all about rendering and let me i'm just putting some random value Oh, oh man, standard. Let me just go back. I'm here so now. Let's talk about okay. Here we have one more property called input colon h current input hidden. So, this property, right? This particular tag is basically used when you want. Okay, let me show you something, guys. Here, let me just go back here. I have a property called h current output text box. Render is true okay that's very nice so let me just okay let me just go back login there's no way it's simply and now i'm typing here writing says some message uh, i am typing some message okay if i click on go back i can see the message here i am typing some message why because i have this edge current output text here so I can see this message I'm typing here, and this message is coming from the uh, welcome page, right? Now, if I use h colon input hidden, h colon this one input hidden. If I use h colon input hidden attribute, this particular tag, I will still have the value here, but I won't be able to see it, so that I can use this particular value in my background process if it is required so let me just go test and i'll put some something here for here uh, some message otp or you can say yeah okay otp is 3103 if i click on back button now i don't see that particular value here right h current input text box i don't have but i still have the particular value like value of this pin is i still have with me and i can make use of this particular value in some background process so if you guys want to know more about this h current input uh, hidden attribute either you can google it or just let me know in the comment section i'll come up with a better example to explain this particular jsf tag but the sole point of this tag is in case if you want like for example you just want to uh, send number of records from your bean class to here on your JSP page and then you want to render the uh, pagination or if you are passing some sort of formed or some sort of ret that you want to apply on your screen so there are some scenarios where you want to make use of hcron input tag you guys can google it and if you if you are if you are not clear just let me know in the comment section i'll come up with a better example uh, or i'll make another video to x to explain h current input hidden in a better manner i think so i think we are done here don't worry guys i'll put the link to download the code you can try it out yourself thank you for watching bye for now